No pity of world. It's a picture of a lifeboat there. That's the whole lifeboat in the harbour. No. And that's where you're from? That's where I'm from. I was born in there. When were you born there? Born in 1929. 1929? Yeah. And you're still flying it? Still, still flying it? And you painted that yourself? I did, yes. So you're one of them. Are you long at the artwork, are you? No, just since I retired. And you took up brand new, fresh. Did you know you could do this? Pardon? Did you know you could do this? No. Because this is like a photograph? Yeah. It's really good, yeah. It's really good, really fantastic, yeah. I'm a while at it now. Mm. And what was it like? What I was retired at like? 59, I'm 86 now. You retired when you were 59, <coughs> yeah. Mm? You retired when you were 59? Yeah. And who were you working for that time? CIE. And what have you had with CIE? What have you Fitter, yeah? Right, and where were you based? Based in Westport. And where was the fitter shop in Westport at that time? There was no fitter shop, there was a shed. And where was that? Shed up at the station. Oh, okay, right, yeah. And what were you, fi you fixing? Steam engines first. Yeah. Then diesels. Yeah. And what year did you come down here, did you say? I came down 1951. 51? Yeah. And it was a steam engine that time then, was it? It was, yeah. Do you remember the name, of the, the name or the number of the... Oh. There were names and numbers on them that time, weren't there? No, there were, well, on some of them there were. There was uh, names on the, on the big ones in Dublin, the Maeve, the Mock and the Talger. There were 800 class numbers. They were on the Dublin Cork run. And were there many trains coming to Westport that time? Uh, well, there were. There were three trains a day that time. Three up and three down, wasn't yeah. it? And were they busy... Well, there the was a night mail. Night mail, huh? Were they busy in the 50s? Uh, they were pretty busy, yeah. Yeah. And how many guys were working up there with you that time? Yeah, uh, there were a good few working at the... The fitting, yeah? No, not the, at the station. At the station, yeah. Who else was up there with you that time? Uh, well, there was a lad, chap. My help was there, Ernie Smith. Ernie Lord Smith, yes. Yeah. Martin Hardy, Lord of Mercy. Yeah. Oh, Matt, Lord of Mercy. There was a, a lot of them there. Who was the station master? Or masters? Mike Matton. Mr. McMahon, McMahon yes. uh, and did Brendan Bolster come then, did he? No, 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 another man it was two after him, two. and then the Brendan Bolster came. Brendan Bolster came, yeah. Brendan Bolster. Yeah, he was there when you were there, he was, yeah? He was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what was the money like that time that you were getting? Was it good? It was good for... It was good for the time. But the time was in it, yeah. Now, what kind of stuff was going on in the station at the time? Oh, that well, Kai, it was very busy that time with uh, freight. A lot of freight uh, carried out of Westport and, mm. and uh, cattle. Cattle, where's the cattle? Yeah, a lot of cattle. On, uh, November was a big month in the year for uh, cattle. It was the biggest fair. Yeah, there was a big fair, was it? Yeah. Uh, you could have five or six specials going out with cattle. And who was buying them? Can you remember who was buying them? Or? I remember one man that used to buy a lot was John Bruton's father. What was his name? Bruton. Mm. <laughs> what was, can you remember his name now? No. Bruton, I suppose you call him. Yeah, yeah. John Bruton's father. Yeah. And who were the big sellers down here then that time? Can you remember them? Or, you wouldn't remember I don't them, think there were big sellers here. They were all small farmers. There was a lot of cattle in all the fairs that time were on the streets. Yeah. And uh, there was a pub there called the Railway Tavern. Was it in use that, that time? Was Joe Rains. Joe Rains. Yeah. All the Jim time. Jim Rains, the fathers. Jim first. And then Joe. Then Joe, yeah. Did you ever drink in there? Or Johnny Clark's. I didn't drink that time. <laughs> you didn't drink it all that time? Oh. No, no. Were the lads going there, they would? Oh, they did, yeah. Was that the local for the railway workers? Or? Yeah, well, Johnny Clark's was the. the big one, was it? Big one, I mean. He was the, the favourite there, I think. Mm. And you like Westport? Go back out of it now. Well, compared to when I come into a forest, I want to go back to Dublin. But when I got to know it, I suppose a bit too small after being in Hoth, was it? Well, I was Hoth small that time itself. Small village, yeah. yeah when right. I came from Dublin, like in a, a certain time in Dublin, yeah. I came here. Now, when I arrived here, I walked around the town and didn't meet one person. Yes, sir. That was at eight o'clock in the evening. You didn't meet any one person, one, anyone at all, right? Not one. Not even, not even a dog. Yeah. And where did you train in, <coughs> in Dublin then? Where was it? In Ninja Corps. That was the, and was that a big place that time? Oh, it was. Yeah. Were they making trains there that time? We were, making tra we were making all our own steam engines that time and their diesels and they're not in. When I started, 
last year was certainly time to start on the diesels. To bring in the engine units and to build the, the engines in. They assemble them like this? Yeah. And how, how many all the carriages they built there and all the wagons built there. And how many a year were they built? Were they built one or two every year? One or two? Engines. Oh, there was four or five or six. And how many <coughs> trains were in the country at that time? You don't know. What seems to be a lot? Oh, I don't know many were in the country. Because there aren't that many now. Yeah. You have to say, have well, there are, yeah, there was a lot of lines open that time. They're not open now. Mm. You had the Sligo line, you had the Fallon Road line. Mm. The uh, Sligo Leithrum. All those and all the Narragans. Were you in the Union? I was. What was the name of the Union at that time? It was the AEU. AEU, yeah. <coughs> Did you ever go on strike? No. No. Never on strike. Were well, they a good Union for you? Yeah. They, they, were, oh, yeah. they looked after you, they looked after your affairs. I got, got away with five years and served my time without a strike. There was a strike, but we weren't involved. You, know? you were in the, yeah. New one coming up, I see, shortly. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you've act, you joined the active retirement, you have, yeah? Yes. What do you do in it? Mostly play cards and painting. Painting, yeah. 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 Not time with her dancing it down the mm. centre. And how many years are you retired now? Oh, I'm retired now. I'm retired in 80, 88. 88. 1988. So nearly 30 years. Yeah. Nearly, nearly um, out as it was. <laughs> You're like Mickey Berry. He always yeah. said that he was <coughs> on a pension longer than he worked. He actually stayed in Mickey Berry's when he came first. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I don't have to stay with him. He lodging in the Fair Green. With his mother. With Mickey's yeah, mother, yeah. mother, yeah. Oh, okay, right. Uh, and how long, long did you stay there for? I stayed there for 1951 to 54 when mm. I got married. Mm. You heard she was a great woman, was she? Uh, oh, she was, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lovely woman. Innovative. An entrepreneur, was she? I heard that. Uh, well, a nice woman. Nice woman. Yeah. You have no story. Lovely family. Yeah. You have no stories, huh? No, no. And were the lads in the house when you were in there at that time? Were, were well, they gone? The or? lads in it, yeah. They were still the young fellas, yeah. like they were, yeah. Mickey and Teddy and Joseph. Okay. So Mary was there. And, uh, was there any fun in Westport that time? Uh, well, you made your own fun. Uh, yeah. Off site and or out to house dances after the stations. It was, uh, it had a, two, two cinemas and a, two dance halls, locally, and the gate he would go in that time. And where did you meet your wife? I met her here in town. She worked in the booker's office. Did you meet her in the dance hall or the picture? Was right? Back in the horse, back to the Back in the horse, you were back in the horse and she was taking the money, wasn't she? She was, yeah. <laughs> she must have figured you were a good bet. It was a great bet. <laughs> Man, 